Hello, everybody. This is uh, Bob at Quilter's Headquarters in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And I am here videoing the, um, the TL-18 QVP, the Haruka. And it's an awesome machine. And so I wanted to point out a few features on this machine that um, some people might not be aware of of what makes this really stand out amongst all the others. And I'm doing this video by myself, and so bear with me on how this, this is going to go. We'll see if we can make it work. I'll be out of the, um, except for my hands, I'll be uh, out of the picture most of the time. But here I am, hi, hello. And so anyways, uh, on the, the uh, Haruka, machine you have a few extra features on it uh, versus the the famous 2010 q and one of the things is if you can see here on the video uh is the adjustable led light and it might not look too bright in your video because i have other lights shining in here too besides that but anyways you can turn it off you can turn it on the bright medium or low because there's some times where you you need to to adjust the light uh, in that in that manner another thing that they've done too instead of just having the two screw holes here that was in the base if you ever accidentally um, uh, strip those out you you you're pretty much there's not much you can do and um, so what they did was they replaced it with a stainless steel uh, uh, replacement. So you can just screw this, this out and screw a new one back in if you accidentally ever uh, uh, strip the screw. So that was a nice feature. The other thing that I'm really, really excited about on the um, uh, Haruka is the uh, micro lifter function. And so I'm going to get into that in a little bit more detail. But at first, I want to show you a few things about this machine really quick. I'm not going to get into threading it. Um, I might do that in another video for you. And, I, and I'll, I'll do a video on how you can uh, quilt your quilt on this. You can also turn the machine and get a different foot. And then there's a great big table that you can get for it that sets up. So my next video, I will set that up. I have that table. And I will set that up as a free motion uh, quilter. And we'll do some free motion quilting. But in the meantime, right now, with this video, for it won't be too long, is I want to show you some of these exciting features. And, um, and you have your, your, your basic, you have your speed control up and down. So some of the knockoffs on the market, other manufacturers don't give you the speed control. And you really need that for free motion quilting. And it's nice also for uh, just regular sewing. And then this is your reverse. This is your feed dogs up, up and down. This is a needle up, needle down feature. And this is your thread cut feature. And then this here is your stitch length. I have it at two and a half, and you can adjust it uh, accordingly. Another feature I want to show you uh, here is this top tensioner. And it's not really a tensioner more than what it does. It takes the, the twist out of the thread, and it, and it um, um, kind of evens the thread out, takes the wobble out of the thread going into the machine, but also this actually adjusts how long of a tail you have left over when you use the thread cutter. And so if you screw this in thinking this is a tensioner, all of a sudden you're gonna have too short of a, a thread. And when you cut it, it's gonna uh, pop out of the needle. And so if you have that issue. And then this of course is the threader and it's a little bit different than people are used to because the needle is, uh, the thread is left to right on the needle. And so, that, um, and we can get in a little bit more detail on that. And so I wanna do a little bit of sewing here and then I want to show you the micro um, lifter and it also will let you let you use any kind Let's see if you can see that here you can kind of hear mind my movement 
but you can use any size thread. So you can use the big cones on on this machine. It, it comes with that, so you don't have to use a jar or a thread stand or nothing at all like this. And so, um, and what's really nice is the the way this is designed. It's um, designed. Whoopsies. So it's designed to where I got this on turtle. But see, I didn't hold the fabric. It didn't go to the left. It didn't go to the right. The way that the feed dogs is designed, you can go very, very fast, and it goes very, very straight. And now I'm going to cut it. It also can use a knee kick, and um, you can use your knee kick like this, and... There it is. You can you can see it on my screen. It's down on the bottom. You'll you'll see see my hand. That's the knee kick, and you can use that function, or you can lift it up back here with the with the foot lifter, and the the knee kick's a nice function. Also, another thing too is you don't have to push the button to cut the thread. You can uh, simply push on the heel of the pedal and it will cut the thread. If you don't like that feature, it does come with a deal that you can put on the back of it and it turns it off. Or you can turn the foot sideways. And then see, I'm now nice and straight. I didn't, I wasn't holding it or baby in it. And it comes with this table. Um, and then I've cut it. And, and so now I'm going into thicker layers. And so right now I'm into one, two, three, four layers of denim. And so I've done four layers of denim. And now I am going to go to five. One, two, three, four, five, six layers of denim. Okay, so now I'm going into six layers of denim. And you can see it's, it's not slowing it down or bogging it down or anything at all like that. And then another thing you want to, uh, you'll find too is going from thin all the way to super thick is very difficult for most machines. So now when we want to do some really uh, super thick stuff and stuff, you might want to consider your micro lifter. And the way that works is in the past what you would, you would do if you're doing something really thick, like maybe a real thick quilt with binding or uh, you know, uh, heavy-duty seams and garments. And what you would do is you would lessen the pressure foot right here and you would lessen it. But the problem with that is when you gave it less pressure foot, pressure foot pressure, then the, the problem is, is then it, it wasn't feeding and you kind of had to push it and kind of let it feed. And, and that's kind of how, how people's had to do it in the past. With the micro lifter, what it does is it, it lifts the foot up but keeping the same pressure you have on it. And that's what's really exciting about this, is you still have the same amount of pressure, you just change the height of this with your micro lifter. And it's, I'm gonna move my camera, and there's gonna be a little bit of movement here, but I want you to see the knob, and you can see it right there. This is the knob on the micro lifter right here. And then when you, um, after you buy one, because after you see this demonstration, you're going to have to have it. And so I'm going to get this arranged again. Sorry for the movement, but I'm working this by myself, and I'm doing my best. And um, so anyways, when you adjust the micro lifter, the, and you're, you, you screw it up, and there is going to be lines on there. When you screw it up to a certain point, you'll feel some tension, and then you'll see your first blue line. And so it starts to slowly move this up. Now see, as I'm lifting it up, I can get this underneath here more. 
so I can get this easily under there. And then it goes to a red line, and that's where you stop. The red line is the highest you go. Or you can learn that, you know, you can go to these other lines, which is uh, just as appropriate for you. And then you can, and then you can, uh, whoops, I hit my cutter. And then you can just sew it. And so as you can see, I went from thin to thick. And here, let's cut it. And you can go from thin to thick, but I still have the same pressure. I just give it a, did it into the feed dogs, and it just does it without me having to uh, baby it along. And so I wanted you to be able to see how this, let's say, so normally you might want to start here, but with this, if I just go like this, that's pretty impressive. And that's what I really kind of wanted to uh, show you. Now, we're 11 minutes into this video. And so, again, it's not really good to make these too long. And so, um, this is what I wanted to show you on this video. Uh, the micro lifter and how that works and why this makes this just the Cadillac of the straight stitchers that are out on the market. And it also comes with a couple of extra feet uh, for, for um, doing quilting and stuff like that. And so it's just a marvelous uh, straight stitching machine. And if that's all you do is a lot of piecing, um, it's good to add this to your, your sewing studio, and, uh, and it goes uh, lickety-split, nice and fast, or you can slow it down, and um, you can do, and maybe on my next video, I can cut how many ums I do. And so here we go. I can slow this down to a real slow pace. And as you can see, I'm not fighting that fabric. That fabric is going straight. It's keeping a nice, even, straight line. I mean, it's, it's awesome. And it doesn't slide or slip. You know how it'll slide and slip. You miss your points. It doesn't do that. And then I can hit the heel of my pedal, and it cuts it. And then I got my knee left. And so I could do some real serious uh, chain stitching with this with this machine and I did that um, and I can even do this with it all the way down the micro lifter turned off and I could do some real serious chain stitching and uh, it's just a marvelous sewing machine and then I'll go a little faster and you see it still goes nice and straight and level so I appreciate you for watching my video and I'll do another be beginning um, video on this machine uh, on threading it and uh, getting it started from if you you know first just got one and you want to learn the basics of it and then I'll, I'll try to set that up for you can you can s see it and you don't have much movement so um, if you uh, uh, at the don't don't forget to uh, down on the bottom of the video is if you can share this and uh, sign up for our videos. That would be really great. And uh, thank you. Very